Okay guys, welcome to my next video. As you can see, the lovely guys over at um, CADM have sent me uh, one of their new graphics tablet, the 10X2. Uh, I'm going to be using it in this video, and as you can see, I'm using it in, in book mode. So, um, as always, don't forget that you should like and subscribe. Although apparently, if you do subscribe, I have to send every one of you an email when I upload a video. But... If that's what I've got to do, that's what I've got to do. Don't forget to uh, comment below and feel free to check out the link in the description to a picture of some cats. Okay, what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to hopefully um, set an official world record. Now, there's going to be some legal stuff attached to that, so I've got to show you a few legal notices. Okay, the world record we're going to try and break is we are going to try and explain Pythagoras in under one minute. Again, a couple of legal notices. Okay, so some legal stuff there that I suggest you deal with. Um, so, who was Pythagoras? Turns out we don't care. We don't really need to know. How do we spell Pythagoras? Like that. As you can see, I will be using the uh, CADM 10X2's built-in timer to time this world record attempt. I will be timing it in um, minutes, seconds, and and bits of seconds, okay? So, what's Pythagoras about? It's about triangles, okay? Specific type of triangles is about your right angle triangle. Uh, remember that a uh, right angle triangle is a triangle with a right angle in it. There it is there right angled triangle okay now something you should note about all right angled triangles is that they've all got a long side and that long side is always directly opposite the right angle okay and i call the long side the long side as well as a long side we've got a short side and another short side i don't care which is shortest they're just both shorter than the long side long side short side short side that's what you need to know. 10 seconds in, guys, we're doing well. Okay, Pythagoras lets us find the missing side in a right angle triangle, okay? What do I mean by that? I mean, you'll be given a right angle triangle and you'll be told two of the sides. One side you won't be told, and that's what you'll use Pythagoras for, to find the missing side in a right angle triangle. Okay, now, I said there was long side and short side, so one of the things you can be asked to do is to find the long side. What do I mean by that? I mean you'll be given a right angle triangle, okay? You'll be told two of the sides, which just happen to be the two short sides, and you'll be asked to find the long side. You have to do three things. The first thing you have to do is you have to square the other two sides, okay? So take the other two sides and square them. Once you've done that, you have to add your two answers, square the two sides, add the answers. And then the last thing you have to do is square root that answer. Square the other two sides, add your answers, square root that answer. And I remember this as we're finding the long side, we square, we add, we square root. We square, we add, we square root. Let's look at an example. Same example as we had, but this time we'll actually do the maths. So I'm being asked to find a long side, long side, square, add, square root. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna square nine to get 81. I'm gonna square six to get 36. Remember, the next thing I need to do is to add those together. 81 plus 36 is 117. Last thing I need to do is square root that answer. Square root of 117 is 10.8 to one decimal place. X equals 10.8 centimeters. Okay, so if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at this one, where you've been asked to find the long side of this triangle. Come back in a minute and we'll have a look at the answer. Good, you're back. So long side, square, add, square root. First thing we had to do was square two, that gives us four, square five, that gives us 25. Second thing we have to do, add those two things together. Four plus 25 is 29. 
then we had to find the square root of 29, which is 5.4, so x equals 5.4 centimeters. That's how tricky it is to find the long side. You square, you add, you square root. Now, you're probably ahead of the game and you probably realize that you could be asked to find the short side. Here's a triangle. Long side is 11. One of the short side is seven. They haven't told us the other short side. So that's what we've got to find out. We've got to do three things. Square the other two sides. Okay, so when you've squared the other two sides, you've got to subtract the answers, but you've got to be careful. You've always got to subtract the smallest from the biggest. Square them, subtract them, square root the answer. I remember that by SS, SSS. So all the S's, you've been asked to find the short side. Short side is all S's. Square, subtract, square root is all S's. That's as nice as it gets. So let's have a look at this example then. 11 centimeter long side, seven centimeter short side. What's that other short side? Well, let's find out. First thing we have to do is square the two sides that we have. 11 squared is 121, 7 squared is 49. Remembering to subtract the smallest from the biggest. 121, tick away 49 is 72. Let's find the square root of 72. That's 8.4, 8.5, sorry. Uh, X equals 8.5 centimeters, okay? Um, ignore that time, I think there's something wrong with the time. Okay guys, some of you might have noticed on an earlier version of this video there was a mistake and um, it's my strong opinion that that mistake was very clearly the work of Anonymous. Okay, they have hacked my site because of my unusually high number of subscribers which is now up approaching 20. Okay, so what I will do is I will make sure that I increase my security so that this doesn't happen again. So, bad, anonymous. Okay, that gets us back to um, the fact that the um, CADM 10X2 lets me do seamless editing. So here, um, I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at finding the short side on this right angle triangle. Now, I, I don't have to say anything on this bit. They've, they've paused the video and they're doing this, this problem now. Then when they've done it, yeah? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, no, I don't, no, no, I don't need to say anything here. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, um, as you can see, this is a um, short side that we're finding. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to square the other sides. 9 squared is 81. 4 squared is 16. Then I'm going to um, subtract those, being careful to subtract the smallest from the biggest. 81 take away 16 is 65. Then I'm going to square root 65, SSS and I'll get at 8.06, so um, x equals 8.06. Big up to my uh, maths consultant for spotting the mistake in the original video, which as you know was caused by... Three questions for you to have a go at. Pause the video, and when you're ready to come back, we'll look at the answers. Yeah, no, they're, they're doing it now. Um, I've got them on pause as soon as they've finished doing the... Uh, yeah, yeah, as soon as they finish doing it, they'll unpause it and then they'll be back, yeah? Cool. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, so you've had a go at these. Here you were finding a long side, so you were going to square, add, square root. So we squared both of them. 10 squared was 100. 8 squared was 64. We added those found the square root of 164, turned out to be 12.8, job done. Here we were finding a short side, so we squared the other two, this time we subtracted them, so we got 36 and 4, we subtracted 4 from 36 which gave us 32, square root of 32, 5.6. Here again, short side, square, subtract, square root. 9 squared is 81, 5 squared is 25, Subtract 25 from 81 to get 56. Yeah, uh, square root of 56, 7.5. x equals 7.5. Job done, guys. Boom. Look at that. 
0 minutes 58 seconds and 32 bits of a second. That is Pythagoras in under one minute, and I think I deserve my official world record certificate. Okay, I just want to end today's video by giving a big up to the Year 10 Massive and uh, inviting you back to watch some more of my videos. Thank you.